stop it. I got a finger. I love you. I was on everybody's channel before, and I never wanted a channel. Never. Eh. I just go on Eric's or Neil's or Jack's, and I would uh, do stuff on it. And then I was sitting in Ehrenberg last year, matter of fact, and on my phone I kept, you got another subscriber, and you got another. I says, I don't have a, I don't know how. So I phoned Jack's, and I says, what's this? He says, oh, you got a channel. I says, no, I don't. So oh, yeah, you do. I set it up for you last summer, but I didn't tell you about it. So here I had no videos and 137 subscribers. So I said, now what do I do, Jax? And then I asked Neil, I said, Neil, what the hell am I going to do? He just put stuff up. So I didn't want to blog or anything. And so I just, I, I've always tried to find a way that I can get the shit out of here and put it out that people can see it, right? So um, I talked to Al and, and Eric and, and uh, Neil and Jax and all them and them. They said, just go up there and just, just talk like you do. Everybody loves you anyway. I says, well, they don't even know me. He says, oh yeah, they do. Which I found out later is true. But um, no, so we started the channel. We just do stuff that we, that we know. See, and that's the thing, like I don't, I don't, we're Canadian, so we don't brag about ourselves or anything. And uh, <laughs> all them, uh, what are you laughing about, uh, you know? <laughs> And like, all them videos, I don't do any research for none of them. That's all out of here. So, um, you know, it's, it's kind of fun because that way I'm helping people out. And like, there's a lot of people in this crowd that I've talked to over the phone or sent messages to and fix your stuff on the side of the road. Saved our butts! <laughs> <laughs> like poor Eric, I still feel bad for Eric. And the problem is, is that, I'm not saying they're rip-offs, it's just that people don't know. Like you go, like the problem is, is that you get some people, like we're very fortunate because we're on the road, so we learn about this stuff. So um, we know what we're supposed to be doing, right? Well, you guys, you know, some, uh, accountant that sits in an office, he don't even know where the dipstick is in, in the engine. And so he goes into a repair shop because they know what they're doing, so they'll fix it up. And then all they do is end up taking his wallet and he doesn't know. He does not know because he's got nothing to gauge it on. You know, if somebody's got a problem, I, I, because I know where, I don't know what it's like, but I know what these people go through when they're sitting on the side of the road and they have no idea what it is. That's the thing about maintenance. A lot of people, um, like most of you can go online, it'll tell you when to change all this stuff. It's not rocket science anymore. And anybody can do it. It's just time and effort. Go ahead, sir. Um, if you're going on a long trip or full time, what are the most important things to make sure you're taking along and the least important that you can leave behind? See, that changes as everybody goes because it just depends what kind of equipment you got, right? See, I'm kind of advantaged because I take everything in the truck, so I don't have that problem. But the, what I do is I'll put stuff in the truck that I think I need, and if you don't use it in six months, take it out. But anyway, that's about all my rant for the day. If you want, got any questions, throw them out there. I'm having trouble finding my spark plugs and my diesel motor. You know, the funny part about that is, you know, the funny part about that is, is that the glow plugs are made by spark plug manufacturers. That's the funny part about it. But yeah, he had bought a van and it was just a piece of garbage and I redid it all. And uh, then last year, he got the water pump changed and the guy put the power wire for the RV battery right on the exhaust and shorted the whole thing up. Uh, you uh, got the code reader. Yeah, but I don't want to know about it. Nothing is saved. Chevy codes are just bop, bop, bop. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he's getting real good. He can tell the code before you can put it in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. We'll definitely get a lot of that tonight. I know. Hey, thank you, Bad. Thank you for everything, Bad. Right, awesome. Thank you. Thanks, awesome. John. Awesome. That was really good. Stickers here for everybody you want.
Yeah. I kind of know where you're going to be around in a boat. Awesome. Good deal. Thank you. Who else got stickers here? I got, hey, you got, you don't have one of my stickers. I know you don't have one of mine. Yeah, well, cool. Uh, this is uh, Lola lost on land again. And she's the one that put all Front suspension. Lola Palooza together. Battery pack. All right, thank you, Eric. Uh, Seat for my little girlfriend. That is really cool. Well, that's perfect for you, though. You hate to being around. Yeah, what am I supposed to need now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, Star Riders trailer. Oh, there's Santa Claus and Paint. Uh, Curves Journey oh, on YouTube. They gave me I got a Well, it was time to head out. I have really enjoyed this trip and I uh, got to meet several new people. And uh, I have to look up some of them's YouTube channels because I hadn't heard of them yet, but I have now. So, I hope y'all have enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. <laughs> can't even talk I hope y'all have enjoyed it and uh, next stop is my cousin Chris's house at Eamon Carter down by Bowie Texas so y'all have a good one keep on keeping on and I'll see y'all on down the road bye now I guess I better put on my seatbelt don't tell nobody bye y'all